Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome to thetechledge.com. And uh, guys, today I would be showing you something really awesome that you can build using jQuery. Uh, what we would be doing is you would be building a live HTML and CSS editor using, uh, I would say, 20 lines of jQuery. So what I have built out here is, you know, a very simple uh, HTML and CSS live editor. So if I'm going to write my HTML here, I'm going to say, you know, uh, the h2 tag with that says hello okay I'm gonna end it out here and out here I'm gonna say h2 should have a color uh, to red or you know probably I can say green like this and I can say body to have a color probably you gonna say background to black And you can see that you know uh, background changed on the very bottom and here it says hey and here it says hello and I have the same HTML markup out here on the top and I have my CSS written out here and if I want I can actually you know click this particular get source button and I can get the entire source code for these two files I wrote here I actually wrote here on the top and I can copy it and I can paste through my file and guys please bear with me because I'm, um, you know, not well today, so probably my, my voice is really crappy. But I actually, you know, want to show you something really awesome. That's the reason I'm uh, making the video. Otherwise, I'm not actually, you know, in the position to make any recordings. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, out here, I'm going to create a new folder with a name called editor. And all we need is one single HTML file. So I'm going to say index.html. Okay. And... Uh, I'm gonna open it here and guys this is the actual file I created earlier so we're not gonna you know do anything with that one I'm just gonna close it right now okay uh, here I'm gonna open my very basic HTML markup you did you do need to include a copy of jQuery in order to work with it and you know just to make sure that you are not getting into any problem I uh, just try to include the very latest one so for now they're gonna be 1.7.1 1 .1, okay and we probably don't need any style sheets or title if you want you can keep it uh, here I'm gonna start with your know, very basic style. Uh, let's come here very first. Uh, I'm gonna say dev with an ID of a box. Here I can say dev a class to inner box. Uh, this one gonna be an HTML, okay. And uh, this one gonna be CSS, and this one gonna be the preview one, okay. So we need three boxes. Uh, preview. And probably you know for them we can say text area because we cannot write to a dev we do need some kind of an input or text area to write our code so for them I'm gonna say text area and on the very bottom I'm gonna say a dev okay and here uh, we're gonna you know create our iframe uh, so that we can actually render everything like a new HTML document so uh, we don't need any source or we don't need anything we just need an ID uh, I'm gonna say uh, preview target okay so preview target uh, out here on the top I'm gonna say class uh, in our box should float towards the left uh, should have a width to 47 percent a padding to 10 pixels and you know let's give them a border to gray color so I'm gonna say border to solid gray and uh, now we can say a minimum height to 300 pixels okay minimum height to 300 pixels and for the preview uh i can say uh let's say the width to 97 percent so guys if i'll come back and if i'll open this particular html file uh here you can see you know i have uh, my text areas and here i have the iframe so we can just make it you know uh, for uh, I can say for iframe here say a border to none okay give it a width to 100 percent to experience depth and I'm gonna say height I'm gonna be 100 percent as well to the period depth so I believe that's all we need with the CSS and you know we have you know some uh, it's just pasted out here in the text area so I'm just gonna remo remove them uh, come back refresh the file so out here we we can write our HTML here we can write our CSS and on the bottom we actually you know gonna 
see all the live results. So what we need for that is uh, out here, I'm going to start with the script tag and I'm going to, you know, write a couple of functions. Very first, I'm going to be a function to make sure that the DOM is ready before we, hit, before we go ahead and do something else. And uh, the very first function is going to be a function get uh, HTML. Okay. And here I'm going to say var HTML going to be equals to uh, the wrong class HTML.y. And here I'm going to say return HTML. So what this particular function will do is it will go ahead and it will look for a class uh, with uh, the name called HTML and it's going to give us a value inside it. Okay, quite simple. And here I'm going to say function get uh, CSS. And uh, here I'm going to say var CSS going to be equal to dollar class CSS dot well. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to say return CSS. Because the very next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we are able to put everything uh, inside this iframe. Okay. So we need to put our CSS inside uh, the head of the HTML. We're going to write inside this uh, iframe. And everything we're going to write in the HTML needs to be inside body. So let me, you know, do it so it will make more sense to you. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take all this off from here and I'm going to take these off. So for now, what we have inside our iframe is, you know, a very simple HTML markup. We have HTML, we have a head, we have a body and we are closing our HTML. And uh, guys, uh, let me tell you one more thing is you cannot write anything uh, inside an iframe. So if I will, you know, try to write a P tag inside it, let's say, hey, uh, see, it's, it's not even here because uh, logically you cannot create two HTML documents inside one window. Okay, you cannot do that. So for that, what we need to do is we need to, you know, uh, we actually we need to do a, some kind of a hack with uh, probably JavaScript. And it's going to be really simple, guys, don't worry. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to say dollar class inner box. That's uh, these two classes are probably three classes we have dot live here function. Okay, so every time we're going to, you know, uh, press our key or probably we're going to, you know, leave our key to run this particular function. What this function is, uh, very first, I'm going to create a variable. Uh, let's say target, target P, that would be target tribute. And I'm going to say uh, dollar. Uh, the ID of this particular uh, iframe dot, uh, you know, we, we just want to grab the very first instance of it, dot content window. Okay, so what we are trying to do is we are trying to, you know, create two different windows uh, under one page. Okay, so that way we would be able to write our HTML out here. So I'm going to say content window dot document. And then guys, every time you need to, you know, open and close these content windows. Why you need to do is frankly saying I have no idea about it. Uh, you know, it's it's something that everyone do and this is the way I learned. So you will have to do it. And seriously, I don't have any idea about it. If you want more, you can go ahead and you can search it on Google. So uh, I'm going to say target.close. Now we can, uh, you know, right now we can go ahead and we can write uh, all of our HTML markup from here and we can render it here on the bottom. So uh, for that, we need to call these functions. So I'm going to say uh, create a new variable. Let's say HTML going to be equals to this particular function. Okay. And uh, here I'm going to say dollar body. And here I'm going to say target p dot append. Uh, HTML. So go ahead, refresh the page, and let's see whether we have any errors or not. So far, now we don't. So I'm going to say an H3 probably. Let's say hey. So, guys, you can see out here, uh, I'm actually getting hey out here, and it's actually, re uh, you know, rendering it uh, like a normal HTML page. And one more thing I can do is copy it. Uh, I'm going to say dollar hit dot target p dot append, uh, you know, 
some style tags because we need to write our CSS inside style tags. So do it like this. And our variable CSS that we haven't created till now, but we're gonna create it very soon. And here I'm gonna say var CSS is gonna be equals to this particular function we created out here on the top. So I'm gonna say get CSS. Okay, let's refresh the page. And uh, let's say H3 I have the color to red. And you guys can see actually out here um, we have K in red color. So guys, this way you can go ahead, you can give you know give it a very awesome design, give some options to user to download the source code from here. But for now, I just want to keep it really simple and really basic. And I'm gonna leave all the files as download on my website. You can go ahead and download download them from the download section. And the one thing that we are remaining with is a get source button. So they're gonna be quite simple. So uh, here I'm gonna say a ref to nothing. Okay, and let's say get source. And here uh, I'm gonna say daughter. Probably you know give it an ID so that we can work with that. So I'm gonna say ID to get get s probably get source. So uh, I'm gonna say ID get s dot click function. Every time we're gonna click it, we're gonna run a function. So uh, here I'm gonna say dollar ID the ID of our iframe dot contents. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, actually find the HTML inside it. So I'm going to say find the HTML tab and give us its HTML. And let's say return to false. And before returning to false, just go ahead and alert it. So I'm going to make it equal to a variable. I'm going to say var uh, alert code. And here I'm going to copy it, come back, refresh the page. Here we have that. So I'm going to click it and guys, oh, that's something ugly. One second. Let's do it one more time. It's still not giving it. Okay, thank you. I don't know why it will do it now. Okay, guys. So here you have the entire source code. Uh, if you want, you can give them, you know, as a download option or you can create a very awesome pop-up from where they can actually, you know, uh, copy it very easily. And if you want, you know, you can download a jQuery plugin for some syntax highlighting for HTML and CSS. You can, you know, modify the way you want it. I just want to give you a very good base. I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.